Hey Faith Live, shouting out to you here today, uh, the last day of March uh, on a Tuesday. Uh, I want to get right into the word. Uh, Proverbs 18, 14 says, The spirit of a man will sustain him in sickness. Now, the Amplified brings it out this way. The strong spirit of a man sustains him in bodily pain or trouble. And I think by now you probably all agree with me that we're in troubled times. But here the key to this is that the Word of God is going to what uh, is that sustains our hearts. And that's what's going to see us through. So I want to jump over to uh, Proverbs chapter 4. And in verse 20 it says, My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. You see, meditating on the Word of God, which is exactly what God is showing us here, uh, meditating on the Word of God is the basic law for establishing your heart. And, and that's going to be the key to you living in victory as a believer. It goes on to say, uh, for they are life to those who find them. So His words, His Word, the Word of God is life to those that find them health to all their flesh. So you could use this right here as a healing scripture. The Word of God is a healing scripture to you. Goes on to say in verse 23, keep your heart with all diligence. So there's another key right there. You have to keep your heart. So I can encourage you uh, to get into the Word, but you're going to have to do it on a regular basis, on a daily basis. You need a daily diet of the Word of God. Just like we eat three meals a day, some of us more, but anyway, um, the Word of God is what's going to feed your spirit man, and we saw in Proverbs 18, 14, that it's the strong spirit of a man that's going to sustain him in sickness, in bodily harm, but also whenever there's trouble. And so we need that today. Um, I want to look over at Psalm 91 because uh, that seems to be a scripture that a lot of people are talking about. There's a lot of preachers preaching on Psalm 91 uh, because it talks about so much uh, that's going on today as far as uh, the pestilence and the plagues and that sort of thing and that things are going on but I want you to see I'm not going to read the whole uh, chapter to you uh, the whole psalm but I encourage you to read it daily but I want to give you uh, two important verses in this that are paramount and key to Psalm 91 being for you it's verse 1 is the first key here he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. And we could stop right there because it says the one that dwells there. Well, dwelling is where you live. So that's why we want a constant daily diet of the Word of God. Every day we live, we need to get the Word in. So here's the key. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Again in verse 9, God points out to us, Because you've made the Lord who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. So we need to be dwelling there with Him daily. Um, I want to show you one more verse in, in Psalm 91, and it's over in verse 14. It says, Because He set His love upon me, therefore I will deliver Him. I'll set Him on high, because He's known my name. Amen. So uh, Psalm 91 it's, it's all full of protection. It's all showing you authority. It's all showing you what God will do for you. But the keys are in verse 1, verse 9, and verse 14. If you make him your Lord, if you dwell there, and I'm going to leave you tonight with, with one last verse, and it's found in John chapter 15. It's found in verse 7, and it's quite a statement that Jesus made to us. He says, If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done unto you. That is great news. So if we abide in Him and allow His words to abide in us, and that means we're doers of His word, we're going we're gonna to do the word, we're going to actually speak the word over our lives, over our situations. We're going to speak over this uh, situation that's going on in the country now. And, and as we close today, I want to encourage you to pray for President Trump. Pray for all those in authority that are... Uh, watching over this country and doing the best they can and we need to help them with our prayers and so we just uh, we just ask that you do that 
and also to be diligent about keeping your heart and staying in the Word of God. Well, thanks for joining today. I uh, look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.